I like doing demonstrations, especially ones that are seasonal. And here's one that's good to do around the Christmas holiday season. I call it the world's smallest Christmas tree. Um, it starts with a piece of copper metal. And it should be a kind of a copper foil, pretty flexible. And I'm cutting a piece of this very, very small, about one millimeter across the base and maybe about two millimeters tall. To give you an idea of how small that is, I've put three of them here next to a penny for comparison. So there they are. If you're wondering how I cut them that small, let me just show you that. It's actually not that difficult. If you take a pair of scissors and you make a cut at about a 30 degree angle to the edge, and then you come out and you turn it and you cut across that exact same piece. I'll make one a little bit bigger here, but a little piece falls out there. And there it is, stuck to my scissors, right there on the table. You probably, probably got lost there now, but uh, make a little tiny notch out of the piece of copper. Anyway, that's too small for the uh, class to see unless it's under the microscope. So here it is under the microscope. And um, this is actually, let me switch to 40 magnification first. OK? So you see that little piece of copper? It's kind of shaped like a triangle, it's the best I can do there. And I've got it actually illuminated from on top and below. If I take off the bottom, maybe you can see it copper colored. Is that showing up? Yeah? OK? And this works both with both backlighting and front lighting, so we'll keep that on there. And all I need now is just a drop of silver nitrate solution. Now that is on a microscope slide, and there's a cover slip on top. And I'm going to just put the drop of this on the side in the capillary action, draw it over into the uh, area of the copper. So there it goes. And right away, what do you see happening? <laughs> Branches growing on my <laughs> scrawny Christmas tree. OK? Is that showing up well? OK? If we turn off the overhead here and just look at the uh, silhouette, and especially if I switch to higher magnification, that's 40. Here's 100. And now let's move it off to the side so you can see those branches growing. OK? And you can see they really do. I can focus at different places here. Look very, they're called dendritic crystals. That's silver forming. You actually have copper going into solution as the silver comes out. It's a little ion for ion exchange, but uh, I'll focus at different points. It really does look like a pine branch there, OK? And you, this doesn't show up. If you just looked at this about the microscope, it wouldn't show up at a little fuzzy dot. But uh, under high magnification, I'll see if I can move it around and find some other interesting. Oh, there's a nice little pine branch, OK? So nice little reaction. They don't look very silvery, though because they're being lit from behind. If I light them from on top, maybe even turn that off. Are we able to see? It looks almost like they're snow covered now. Yes? Is that showing up OK? OK. So <laughs> very quick reaction. The chemistry of it, pretty simple. We have <coughs> copper plus silver ions forming silver plus copper ions. OK. Ooh, there's a nice one. See that one there reflecting the light? It's still growing. So probably the smallest demonstration I do, but I think one of the more beautiful ones. Nice little electrochemistry demonstration for the holiday seasons. Thank you.